Hello, Dana. How are you? Hello, Wendy. How are you today? We're doing great. Awesome. I hope this works. Microphones are not working today, so we are coming in live via phone and visual on my computer. It's very nice. You'd think that there would be a delay between your voice and the picture, but working good. It's working good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yes, so you have had a busy day today. Oh, well, I'm always busy, but it was nice. It's a beautiful day out and I keep looking, but my son, he's so excited. He's getting his first car. He's 22 years old, actually doesn't even have his G2 yet, but he is super excited and has been working his butt off to uh, save some money. And he, the boy is just, he, I don't know where he gets it from. It's not me, I don't think, but he has really good money skills and he is doing wonderfully and was able to put like half down this uh, 2016 car. It was really nice. It's good. I'm so yeah. proud of him and he's so excited. So we went out and did paperwork for that and yeah. And That's you, good. you're exciting. Yeah, I'm in Midland today. So very nice. And then um, tomorrow, uh, sorry, Thursday, Huntsville, and then, um, mi sorry, I'm not in Midland today, I'm in Today's Bracebridge. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, I'm in Bracebridge, and then I'm in um, Huntsville on Thursday, and then Midland on Friday, and then at camp, so. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for camp, that's for sure. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. So yeah, it's been exciting. So I've had time this morning to uh, start posting some of the stuff on my Wise Divine Facebook group. So if you're not part of that, get involved because I'm putting some free stuff on there. It's part of my Wise Divine Women um, Hormone Academy. And um, it's Eat Your Way to Hormone Health. And I always talk about that because who doesn't love eating? But to incorporate better, uh, you know, better hormone, better understanding of the foods that need to be on your plate, uh, the different herbs and, and such that can be, you know, incorporated better healthy. But it's really just about breaking that stigma of diet and, 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 and try and convince you into the undiet. Yeah. And you actually need to eat food to nourish the mind and body. And you need to be, there's many things you need to be doing at many levels. You need to be meditating. You need to be to nourish the mind. You need to be in, in um, for me, I need to be in the word. For, for others, they need to be in journaling. Um, they need to be practicing uh, what, they, what they practice, and, but it's being accountable for those things, right? So it's, it's, yes, you have to set up a schedule, and yes, you have to stick to it, and, or at least try and be flexible and don't guilt yourself for not doing it. But yeah, so this is me practicing what I'm preaching. So I've had celery juice this morning because I, I wanted to really, you know, get this bloat down in my stomach that I have from all the beer that I've drank all summer. So beer and wine and love and song. But <laughs> sounds like a country song. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so celery juice this morning and uh, some fresh farm tomatoes for some breakfast, and then I had an iron. Um, a smoothie, right, with some, well, juice, actually juice, and then now I have lemon and ginger in my water. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, because we actually have to work to detoxify ourselves and boost our immune systems right now, so it's a good thing to throw it both in there with the, the lemon and the ginger is going to really help. That's nice. So I was able to sneak away for a 30-minute massage yesterday oh, just because funny. I was having difficulty with I was locked. I couldn't move my head as far as I'd wanted, or I can't stretch as far as I'd wanted. And, and driving um, a rental car is just, you know, you just know. So I'm a little sore today. He really yeah. dug in on a couple of trigger spots on my scapula. So, yes, I didn't know I had it there, but he touched it, and I was just like, oh, my gosh, let me breathe for a second here. <laughs> He's busy talking away, and I'm like, stop mid sentence, and I'm like, <laughs> those were yeah. Some, some of those practitioners, they did, they, they just, they know exactly what to do and where to touch you and how to figure the, everything out before you even realize. Sometimes they just are so in tune to 
uh, yeah. what's going on with your bodies that, you know, sometimes we don't even get to, yeah. to be that in tune. So that's amazing. amazing. So I hope to have a month to launched on my teachable program and uh, on my, my, my website so that I can really dig in and, and work on this hormone academy, which I just love because I would like to myself remain focused, much like other women having a grocery list or having a homework to think about, or if you're really trying to make those great positive changes and understand yourself as a true divine woman, hear me roar, let's make some great changes. Let's clear this brain fog and find my libido again. So it's just, <laughs> Sorry. it's so funny in a constant conversation, even, even last week in my clinics, right? You're just looking at them and you know that, that look of bewilderment or you, you know that look of, of exhaustion. And I'm just looking at them going, okay, I need to send you something. You need to self-care. Like, yeah, you really need to focus on that because so many women who have just, are just losing themselves with the overwork, yeah. um, with the COVID restrictions, which are not going to cease. They're just going to ramp up again. And just so you know, if everyone's concerned, I am maintaining the strictest of protocols. So when I'm in clinic, I'm like covered. I probably will have to detoxify from Lysol and from sanitizing wipes. So, but um, that's always been a bit of a concern with friends and family. I am masked in, I'm masked out, I'm hand sanitizing everywhere I go, uh, washing clothes as soon as I get in. Um, and, and, uh, just being very thoughtful and maintaining space distance and restricting hugs and, and such. So, but uh, I know that would be on the minds of many. So. Yes. Oh yes. I mean, especially in, in bigger populated areas that where you are working right now. So, I mean, not that it's any less where we are in Sudbury, but you're going to have twice as many people in, in that area. So you really want to be quite vigilant with it for sure. Yeah, so I think even when we were talking a bit earlier, please support your immune system. Please do what you can. Please dry brush. Please, and I know I, everyone's like, ah, the bubkis. Bubkis is my word today. But, <laughs> but dry brush. Stimulate oxygen throughout the entire body. Bring healing blood everywhere. Increase your circulation. Incorporate beautiful herbs like cleavers um, or a lymphosat by Pasco or a herbisante lymphatic tonic or a uh, trifolo from... St. Francis herbs because it's a seasonal change. Today's a great day. Happy fall. Seasonal change. Let's go. Yeah. And that not only stimulates and exfoliates all this summer tan, but it, it really helps rejuvenate and um, move and support that lymphatic system. So we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about that again another day. But I wanted to get in and talk about this amazing, like the recipes and and it's so funny because I have been so craving papaya. It's probably because I really need it. You don't like papaya? Um, I had one bad experience with it, uh, so I, and I haven't really tasted any. I I didn't want to taste it since. I can still. It just tastes like dirty feet to me. I don't. Know. <laughs> Maybe I have an aversion for it because I need it. I don't know, but I don't know. To me, it's always very. Um, cool and sweet like honey it's not overpowering and um, it I just know that it just it's just sort of that calming filling soothing satisfying um, very fleshy color and um, maybe because it's just sexual or something I don't know we won't we won't talk sexual, <laughs> sexual. you brought it up I want to talk about it now <laughs> What is it about it? It's just fleshy. Oh, I don't know. Fleshy. So is mango, so, though. No, I don't know. <laughs> mangoes are messy. Mangoes are messy. So, anyways, so today on my Wise Divine Woman uh, Facebook group, I posted this amazing papaya lime chia coconut pudding. Oh wow! Right, like oh. how amazing is that? So, and when I was reading today about um, the papaya, right? So it's usually this big, humble punk of fruit. You really have no idea what to do with. And then it has these gross seeds in the middle, um, which, you, of course, you never know what to do with. But a lot of that, has to, you can use them as part of a cleanse. Um, but anyways, it is 
um, if you're struggling with any kind of uh, stomach or intestinal disorder, papayas can help in um, just cooling and calming. It actually can help with H. pylori instances as well. Um, and it helps rid the gut of unfriendly uh, bacteria. Yeah. So it, it's a great fruit for helping with SIBO issues. And again, it's that cooling, calming, soothing aspect to the papaya that you want to be incorporating, right? And I, I've had this discussion a few times. I mean, if you're dealing with blood sugars, please remove all processed sugars out of your diet before you start removing fruit, please. It's a natural, it's natural fruit the way God intended it to be. And you, you need to reduce your inflammation. You need to remove everything processed in your body, in your mouth, in your fridge, in your kitchen, in your pantry before you start removing the natural things, clean food that, that is prepared for you. Yeah, we need sugar um, in our diet. We need sugar. Just to we need function natural. properly, even in our brains, we need it. Yep. So papaya, as you know, does help with digestive enzymes. So oh, yeah. it helps food, it helps reduce inflammation. Um, it really has a great combination of amino acids in it as well. So it really helps in many levels. So get some papaya into you with beautiful peaches and papayas and sprinkle with lime and, and nuts and seeds and just create a beautiful fruit salad. I love it when you cut it because it remains that firmness to it, especially when you're throwing it in with other fruit. Nothing makes me more upset than having a mushy fruit salad, Yum. right? And I have been busy trying to look for apricots, and maybe they just didn't have a good season, but I haven't found any apricots. Oh. Maybe it's not in season yet. So um, so anyways, papaya helps with uh, alkalinity. It helps in relieving uh, constipation, as many of you are not pooping enough and not taking enough magnesium. Just had that discussion this morning. Magnesium, VIP. Um, if you suffer from stomach aches, you know papaya will help in that, that calming and soothing aspect of things so um helps with skin because how many times do we see papaya in um skin remedies or in lotions or those okay. types of things just a, just a thing dana i heard that you could actually take the skin of the papaya and do like this and put it on the rough areas of your body like just like the stuff that you peel off and just rub it on and it's just amazing amazing for your skin just in that respect right there if you <laughs> rub your body down with papaya skin, then how about it? Just spots. You don't have to do the whole body. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, helps with eczema, psoriasis, and um, acne, things like that. So again, lots of gastro issues, right? Lots of parasitical or bacteria issues, uh, UTIs, and um, emotional support. So I love this portion of this book. So Papaya, we really went off track, so I apologize, folks, but papaya is my crave today. So papaya can quickly lift you and or your loved one out of gr uh, grouchiness. Keep it on hand to share when feelings of crankiness, crabbiness, and impatience creep in. Papaya breathes light into everyone who consumes it, casting out negativity and darkness, purging all judgment, resentment, and sort of frustration. Hmm. Wonder why I need that today. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I've been working through a few things, so it's been very nice. Um, the, the papaya tree is often skinny and frail, yet holds a large crop of the heaviest fruits out there. This will and determination to overcome physics and balance, no matter what, is almost supernatural when you think about the papaya. It teaches us that we can overcome our seeming weaknesses and are working in service to a noble cause. It's not what we look like on the outside that counts for anything. The true self that's inside each of us determines what we can really accomplish. Hidden inside each papaya are medicinal truths, those little, like little seeds perhaps, or the vitamins and the amino acids and all this greatness, right? We eat them, our bodies immediately identify these elements and put them into use, redesigning us physically so that we can heal and become our strongest selves. Papaya trees and their fruit want us to understand that there are no limitations to healing, growth, and becoming. 
disease and physical challenges cannot hold us back. We can transform situations to seem at first impossible. So for constipation, the tip of the day is to eat half of the paella daily. Wow. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, prefer to get the, the medium to large ones. Hawaiian ones may have a little more. So it talks about, um, and the, the spice. So eat a few, if you like spice, eat a few of the papaya seeds along with the fruit. Eating a small portion of papaya seeds every week can be beneficial for eliminating parasites and bacteria. So for great repairing, soothing stomach tonic, you blend papaya with celery juice. I don't know about that. <laughs> papaya and celery juice. juice. I love celery juice. I oh, I like juice. celery juice too, but I can't. I can't picture it with papaya as in like a smoothie or something. I don't know. So let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna share screen. Is that okay? Yeah, I think you can. Uh, wait, let's see if it works. Okay. So this is what is part of my um, eating your way or my Hormone Health Academy. So this here is my month number one. Let's see if I can get it to shrink a little bit. Never know how this always works, right? Um, so eat your way to hormone health, beautiful. I just love it. So it is beautiful. Talking about food, talking about why 10 reasons and 10 tips for stopping and uh, or creating hormone healthy diet. And these are all really great points. And we talk about this and my group about uh, the diet change, right? The diet, whole diet mentality of things, because you certainly have to change that. Reducing coffee. No, I'm kidding. Of course, you have to reduce uh, for sugar, eat organic, and be mindful about things. The, um, sorry, this is the guide here. So we talk about hormone health. We talk about um, how important it is to actually eat regularly. Um, and keeping that on, on time, um, unless you're yeah, eating on time and creating that thing. Unless you want to create a stress for the body, then you're going to be intentionally uh, utilizing it the best that you can and perhaps doing one 13-hour uh, fast during the course of your week just to um, perhaps uh, challenge it and allow it to use up its stores and uh, be able to move forward uh, in in absorbing and understanding and uh, a lot of people may consider it keeping control of that um that stomach that keeping control of that second mind or the whatever gut <laughs> sometimes, it has, sometimes it has a mind of its own um well i think it does but no it does they've actually the scientists uh have really actually pro proven it that the the gut is the second brain for sure it has yeah. actually more neurotransmitters in the gut than we do in our brain. Mm -hmm. yes. So I mean, as we've mentioned, there, there are many different types of um, hormones, but you need to ensure you get enough protein because melatonin, thyroid, and adrenal uh, hormones derived from amino-based proteins as well as bean protein. So you got to make sure you're incorporating that every day. It's important, not just for muscle, no. But for sleep and for uh, regulating uh, temperatures and for adrenal health and your fight and flight responses and, and all those different things. So there's many uh, different aspects. You were going to say, Wendy? I was just saying it's the, it's the building blocks. It's the foundation of, of the, um, mm -hmm. the hormones and, and the transporters of these hormones and different things. So we need that specifically. For sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So to me, it's just, it's, it's incredible um, when you're looking at these different aspects of things and you're looking at, um, so with this program, you get a diary and I want to really build on that because I really don't want to know about what you ate or I do, but don't, but, and when and where, but how you felt and how your bowel movements were and did you get a headache and what was your sleep like and, and understanding mood swings when you're eating things to recognize sensitivities, not only just from bloating, but from other parameters as well. Uh, every month you get a recipe guide, you get a pantry list and you get uh, suggested uh, meal ideas as well. So it's, it's very exciting to be able to provide all of this um, for 
women as part of this uh, program, the Wise Divine Hormone Academy, um, and then be able to be um, plan a bit better or be creative and understand and perhaps plan things ahead of time or have that created. And so like the papaya lime coconut chia pudding, which I'll get the recipe added today. Um, and, and salads, and it's a great time for salads, like uh, this garlic mint kale salad with roasted carrots. Hello. And getting your, even your, um, your purple carrots and your red carrots and your white carrots and, and beautiful different colors of kale this time of year as well. And fresh mint and the beautiful Ontario grown garlic. Mm -hmm. and just to be able to create that. So I'm super excited about all of the different recipes um, and be able to cook them when I get home next week uh, and, and just be able to recognize where you eating the fullness and the rainbow of colors and being and actually eating is very important. Oh yeah. Like who doesn't love roasted beets? Oh I, I know. I just bought some beets the other day. I'm looking forward to roasting them up. Oh they're just yep. so good. And the candy cane beets, there's so many different varieties now. It's it's great. It's such an adventure mm -hmm. to try them. So anyways, at this whole month of um Sorry. This whole month uh, for Eat Your Way to Hormone Health as part of the Hormone Academy is free if you want to get into my Wise Divine Woman page and um, or my Facebook group, and it's all there. And then for a nominal monthly fee, then you can join the whole movement and understand thyroid and gut and sugar and um, metabolism and thermography and breast health and every single month we really dig in deep about understanding hormone health the importance of food uh the creativeness of, of wanting to be in the kitchen again um and and be in love with food again but regulate hormones so that you can love your partner or husband again love yourself again enjoy being around your family again these are all really important things that, that we talk about every day and a lot of this stinking thinking can come from uh, irregulated hormones. So. Yeah, we're not crazy. That's the thing. Like so many of us, we get into this point of time of year, and we think, "Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just so overstressed, so backwards. I'm not sleeping. I'm not doing this, and I just feel like I'm crazy. Like, a, and I'm the only one." But the thing is, with hormones, you're not the only one, and you're not crazy, and it can be fixed through diet yeah. quite easily you know yeah. at least it's, maintained it's, a little bit eh? when you're thinking about um in the past women would have just been called hysterical yeah right? <laughs> thrown in institutions <laughs> okay, yeah put in institutions we only wish we could have that time out yeah <laughs> maybe that's a good our, <laughs> our launch done for ourselves and mm. play group sure yeah. i'm in <laughs> Somebody's making meals for us. <laughs> yeah, so we'll keep this brief. I really just want to make sure, get in on this. We talk about it. I do live. And then as part of the Hormone Academy, um, you actually get to have some one-on-one -on -one time with me once a month and just dig in and understand what, how I can help you, what do you need. And uh, I really am looking forward to helping the women who are already there, but to you out there who are looking for help and a home who need a home with other soul sisters, then come on down. Well, that's it. And a lot of that is community. We really need to be able to connect with other people that are going through the same things that we're going through, have gone through it, and or just, you know, just commiserate with each other. <laughs> what do they say? Misery <laughs> loves company. But I mean, it's not even just that. It's, it's just connecting with people that are, are just going through and understanding. Cause you know, sometimes our partners don't understand and there's no way that I can talk to my 28, 26 year old daughter and say, oh, you know, this is this and that and everything else. As much as we're friends, they don't understand. You know? they, don't, they don't want to hear about your sex life with their dad. No, no, that too. Yeah, I wasn't going to go there. I was just <laughs> we're just talking about feeling crappy with the, the hormones and not sleeping. They're like, oh, yeah, mom. They just look at you and go, yeah, well, you're old. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> you have to expect that. It's like, no, I don't have to, you know. 
And, and I, I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again that this kind of stuff are symptoms the and they're not normal like you do not have to have the symptoms that you're going through uh through with menopause um they are indications from the body telling you that something's not right so getting into a program that like yours allows the body to write itself through yeah. our foods community um meditation self-care all these different things prayer all these different things that are going to help the body get back to where uh, it should be to not have the symptoms that are screaming at you <laughs> sometimes mm -hmm. you know so that's what i love i love i love about with the things that we do so well awesome well if you have questions today please contact wendy or myself on facebook or instagram or old school emails old emails old school now <laughs> maybe even the telephone but for text right so don't feel you if you have questions no question is 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 irrelevant contact us see how we can help you whether it's through live blood or thermography or just general coaching um just let us know yeah definitely we're always here to help perfect Take i care, love it everybody have a great day everyone <laughs>